Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley joins me now. Governor, welcome back to the program. Good to see you. Uh, if I may... Good morning from Iowa. <laughs> indeed. If I may, I'd like to get right to the issues with some rapid-fire question and answers, if I may. First, if you're elected, sure. which taxes would you cut? We, we definitely make the small business tax cuts permanent. We would cut taxes on the middle class, and we would eliminate the federal gas and diesel tax. We would start there. Um, I think that's hugely important. Small businesses are the heartbeat of our economy. We need to start acting like it, and we need to make sure we allow the middle class to breathe. Wh they have really taxes? struggled during this you time. You say you would cut middle class taxes. Which taxes on the middle class would you cut? In you want to cut, cut their income taxes, yes. Okay. Next one. How would you close the border? First of all, I think we have to defund sanctuary cities. I passed the toughest illegal immigration law in the country with E-Verify. We need to do that nationally. Every business has to show that the people they're hiring are in this country legally. We'll put 25,000 Border Patrol and ICE agents on the ground and let them do their job. We will go back to the Remain in Mexico policy because no one should even step foot on U.S. soil. And instead of catch and release, we'll go to catch and deport. Will you deport those people who are already here illegally? That's millions of people. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have to stop the incentive. You can't let them cut the line when l people are trying to come here the right way. Well, what's your green policy? Specifically, would you reverse Biden's push for electric vehicles? We absolutely need to roll back all of Biden's green subsidies, including what he's had the EPA do. Right now, the EPA cares more about sagebrush lizards than they do about whether we can afford our utility bills. But all of these bailouts and packages that he's done for electric cars, he's forcing people to have to buy electric cars by 2035. That's not even practical because, one, we don't have the infrastructure for it. And I'm not even talking about charging stations. Electric vehicles are heavy. Our roads and bridges wouldn't even be able to handle it if we did it. Secondly, 70 percent of the batteries in electric cars come from China, our number one national security threat. So that's not smart. But thirdly, the biggest reason is don't push people on what they have to do and how they have to live. That's the problem we've had with government the past eight, ten years, is they now think they know better than the people. That's the wrong way to go. If we want to improve the environment, let's transition, let's partner with the producers on how the best ways are to go about that, and let's hold China and India accountable.